another saddle with Sienna, and today we're doing a barn vlog because I'm going to be riding both Pearl and Justice today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. So we're gonna start getting little Pearl here groomed. First, we're gonna start with our Weaver little curry thing. They just love it. it I just like this one because it's really soft and it's not as harsh as the regular curry comb. So I really like this one. So next up is my Weaver hard brush. I'm just going to go over her. She's quite dusty and she's really dirty on that side. So we're just going to start. Next up is my Tail Tanner by Professional Choice. And it is a very soft brush and we're just going to go right over it and it'll make her even more sparkly and clean. Now we're going to pick the Next we're going to tackle that mane. So I'm going to now tack her up. I'm going to use my tougher style of pattern. We're just going for a subtle matchy matchy. It's kind of like my fall set. So we're just gonna go get her tacked up and we're gonna do some YouTube magic to make that happen. Voila, it's that easy. So I had my mom record me getting on cause lately she's been walking away from the mounting block and I can see like kinda right there. That's my fault, I just, I'm terrible at mounting for some reason. So, for any of you guys that don't know Pearl, she is a paint thrower cross, I believe. Um, and her owner is letting me exercise her and get her back into shape so that we can do fun things like trail ride on her. And she's very graciously letting me ride her anytime I come up to ride any of the other horses. And I've just been having a blast with her. She's such a little cuddle bug. I don't think I've ever met such an affectionate horse. It's so sweet. So, now I'm just letting her run because she was an ex-contesting horse. So, I like to give her a little bit of what I call free trot. <laughs> And so now we are just going to do some sitting trout, no stirrups, and get off. So she was still good for a ride. I let her do a little bit of go down, run back, because we're heading towards the gate, and she loved it. She's an ex-contesting horse, so that's why. And she was just a really good girl. We had some problem with the corner, but she eventually got over it, and she started to build back that muscle. And I'm so very proud of her. She was so good. So this was actually my first time ever trying to do stretches with her. I used to do them with Prince, or at least Prince's owner did. So I watched a video before I came and I tried them out with her and she was actually very good at it. I was so proud of her. I love you too. You don't have to lick me constantly though. You're a little puppy dog. Yes, you are. I love you. Oh my gosh, you're like a huge dog. You're the cutest. I just got slobber attacked. Going to go set up a pole exercise. Not, it's, we're just going to work on straightness. We're not actually going over the poles.
I lied. We ended up going over the poles, but we also ended up changing up the exercise as well. Um, we made it a pinwheel, and Tony, his Justice's owner, actually gave me this little exercise. He set it up for me. He's great. We love him around the barn. He gives us exercise and he exercises, and he's like our trainer. It's awesome. And so we're just working on it. We're supposed to go over the pole, then circle. And I thought we were really going to struggle with it, but we actually did not do as bad as I thought we were going to do. It's supposed to help your young horse bend and then get a straight line. It helps you kind of with your jumping. Um, we did end up doing those two poles that I spaced, but we were supposed to use them for straightness. And I just ended up going over them as trot poles, which it worked. But eventually we're just like, well, this is a little bit too easy for her. Let's turn it up a notch. So here she is cantering. The funny thing about this mare is she can be extremely lazy, and then she can be extremely forward on the other hand. So it's a little bit of a draw of which one you're going to get, but she's really sweet, and she's a lot of fun. She has everything from beginner lessons, but once you get up to the canter, she is quite green and very, very green over the jumps as well. She just started getting her left lead, so we're still working on that because she had a dropped hip, hip as a foal. She's actually at a smart strike, so that is a very interesting tip. She was sired by the same horse as the Kentucky Derby winner Rich Strike was and so I thought it was a pretty cool little um fact and so that's pretty cool so she had a drop tip when she was three also and so she's just now getting that left lead and that's why we kind of struggle with it uh, but she's a really cute girl and this is the end of the video guys so if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe for crazy horse content for horse crazy kids